This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. Good morning. I'm Lucky Scott with your NBC 33 News Brief. Greenwood Police launching an investigation after a man and his wife are found dead inside a motel room Thanksgiving morning. Police found 37-year-old Jesse Lee Jr. and 35-year-old Detrina Lee dead in the Golden Coach Inn around 9 a.m. Thursday. Jesse Lee was found on the floor next to the bed while his wife was on the bed. Chief Raymond Moore says officers had to force their way inside the room after getting the 911 call. Police are not releasing any info on how the couple died. However, investigators reporting no signs of trauma. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigations has been called to assist in the case. Both bodies were sent to Jackson for an autopsy. Well, the state of Mississippi appeals a ruling and its latest gay rights challenge. A federal judge successfully overturning Mississippi's gay marriage ban recently. But Mississippi's Attorney General Jim Hood has filed a formal notice of appeal. The notice was filed late Wednesday in U.S. District Court in Jackson by Hood and Governor Phil Bryant. Mississippi has a 1997 law that bans same-sex marriage and a 2004 voter-approved constitutional amendment that defines marriage as being between a man and a woman. Two lesbian couples and a gay rights group sue to overturn that ban. Meantime, five people escape a house fire in Gulfport. A huge fire in Gulfport's Bayou Oaks subdivision broke out at around 2.30 Friday morning. The five residents were sleeping inside when the fire alarm went off. They smell the smoke and were all able to get out safely. They were even able to rescue the family's dogs. There's no word yet on what sparked that blaze. Well, in regional news, three people are violently attacked with a claw hammer. Now the suspect is in custody. The incident happened in Forest City, Arkansas, Thanksgiving morning. Police say the three victims suffered severe head trauma after a man came into their home and attacked them. According to police, officers found 29-year-old Michael Cody inside the home and arrested him without incident. The victims accused Cody of being the attacker, also saying he had a knife. Police say a four-year-old was nearby during that attack. Cody is charged with three counts of first-degree battery and endangering the welfare of a minor. And Ray Rice wins his appeal for his indefinite suspension from the NFL. A judge's decision could mean the former Baltimore Raven could be reinstated immediately. It's also possible the NFL could put him on the commissioner's exempt list, keeping him off the field. Rice argued the NFL lacked the ability to suspend him for a second time after the league knew about misbehavior and misconduct. Whereas the NFL said Rice was not telling the truth about what happened. Rice was captured on video for hitting his then fiance inside an elevator. This has been a WNBD NBC 33 news brief.